Hi, I'm Michael and I'm a composer. My job is to make humans more human and use music to maybe even make being human a little more appealing and a lot more fun. It's a mission that has taken me a lot of different places and not one that I've been on alone. I'm excited to share with you Music for Transitions, a set of four string quartets written over the last five years. You might have seen a short video I released about it. I'll leave the link below. At their core, each quartet is a work that answers moments of change. And with the support of Creative Australia, Music for Transitions will become my first full album and will be released commercially through streaming over 2024 and 2025. I'm very excited to be recording these works in Melbourne with my inspiring and talented colleagues in the Penny Quartet. And we'll be doing it with a very special engineer at ABC Melbourne's iconic classical recording space, Iwaki Auditorium. Making this project a reality is a journey that I've enjoyed sharing with others. And I'd like to invite you to be a part of it as well. You might remember five years ago, I started a GoFundMe as a last ditch effort to attend a festival in France. And I said something like, I'm going to write my first string quartet. I would like you to be a part of it. And the response was overwhelming. Individuals came together from around the world, and I ended up at that festival. Wrote my first quartet. It got performed. You might remember the folks were singing the tune afterwards. <laughs> and it won my first international composition prize. But that wasn't the end. That was just the beginning. I began to think, what if this was just the first in a series? So the following year, I put out an invitation to be a part of creating the next quartet. And an even bigger community came together to commission string quartet number two. Now, those two quartets, they went on to be performed internationally quite a few times, reaching people even during the grimmest hours of the pandemic. They would find audiences in Germany, Italy, France, in Australia, the United States, parts of the Midwest and South I'd never heard of. Even folks in Thailand had something to say. They would go on to receive 10 awards internationally between them. One became a string orchestra work. It even made the news a couple of times. A critic even described it as music of great depth and beauty. But for me, it was deeply fulfilling to be a part of a practice that brought some joy to others, especially in moments where joy might have been scarce. What's more, those works and everything after would be the cornerstone in me securing a green card, which would let me continue the mission here in the United States and adopt a cat. But even in the darkest days of the pandemic, it would allow me to imagine and advance this larger creative vision for a world that would have music again. And folks got behind it. Even through COVID delays, string quartet number three made its way into existence. The point is, a lot can happen when individuals come together to create art. And if you were one of those people, you might have very reasonably thought not much would happen when you pitched in 50, 100, or even 500 bucks. But it did. And now comes the opportunity again to be a part of making art happen. I'd like to invite you to join in becoming a co-commissioner of String Quartet No. 4 and completing this larger work. In addition to partial funding that's secured from New York State Council for the Arts, your tax-deductible donations through Fractured Atlas if you're in the United States or Australian Cultural Fund if you're in Australia can make art happen. And what starts with your goodwill carried by something as small as sounds made from the dots on a page can grow. And even in the most challenging of times, together with music, we can create moments reaching and connecting others now and into the future, at the best of times, at the worst of times, and all those transitions in between. Art can do that. Music can do that. So let's make some.